Yeah. yeah. Hi, Robert from Dr. Tesla. I think the goal with the capacitors is to make an electric car like a gasoline car, where you drive up to a pump, you put it in, and you maybe have enough time to look for a candy bar, but by the end, seven minutes, you're charged. And those capacitors can take on a huge load very quickly and then bleed it off to the batteries. I think that's where that technology will go. If it can be achieved, I don't know. I mean, I think if they can get charging even down to 15 minutes, like that's not that long, especially if you've got, you know, YouTube or whatever in your car. Um, As a driver of a Tesla, you get that. But the vast majority of people that I talk to, they're not ready to make that paradigm switch. And if you want to make But it, take, it takes time to, to fill up your gas tank, you know, like you, you drive in, you get out, you know, you pump. The, you know, it's at least five to seven minutes or longer, you know, to go to oh, the gas yeah, station. But I think there's a good point here. You get to the supercharger and you're at 36 kilowatts and it says it's going to take an hour. And right, minutes. right, exactly. So that perception is out there and we need to get past it. And I don't think we can convince, I've tried for a long time to convince a lot of people. It's hard to do that. But one of the most enjoyable responses I had from somebody who went from ICE to Tesla was that they really enjoyed the fact that they didn't get panhandled at every gas station that they went to fill their car up at. So that's just an aside. Yeah, and Elon always said it's about a no compromises, like making an electric car that's right. better than the internal combustion engine, which I'm like, okay, great. And in a lot of ways, they've done that. But in terms of range and in terms of like battery drain and rapid charging, like we are still a little bit behind the norm for an internal combustion engine. And so that's what we're talking about here. It's all this fancy battery technology talk. But really what we're getting at is Tesla's on the cusp of totally making that switch and it not even being a question about the technology. But, and, but we're also dealing with a behavioral change because like I don't think about my car like a regular car like I used to think about yeah. my car where I would drive sort of down to the bottom of my gas and then I'd be like in panic mode because I need to find a gas station and whatever. You know, I charge at my house in a regular plug. I don't have a fast plug and I drive, you know, I don't know, 30 or 40 miles a day total, but I just like plug it in and I'm charged full every night. And I think most Tesla owners act that way. So like the thought of during my day that I would need to stop to charge, you know, I've got almost 300 miles. It's not going to happen. So, you know, I think that paradigm shift is partially like you don't need gas stations anymore at all. So yeah. the superchargers, I think, are more for longer haul trips and things like that, or people who don't have charging at home. But eventually everybody will, I think. Those guys who are buying the trucks that you're talking to who live up in, right. in Canyon country and sit in two hours of traffic to get home after they've pulled all this power out of their truck with their tools, right. they're definitely going to need some no, you're right. way to fill it back up. No, I'm not saying there shouldn't be. Right. I'm just saying the behavior does change for most people. Right. You, you know, So every solution is a little bit different. Some people are driving very far every day. But for most people, you know, you're just not going to use 300 miles in a day.